Hey guys, just wanted to make an update here on the previous video, how to remove chat from League of Legends. That video is a bit old. It was back in December. It is now September. I meant to make an update for that earlier. However, I didn't have my computer set up because I was packing up for moving, and I just now got to the point where I can actually sit down and record it. So, since I made that video, uh, Riot has implemented a lot of changes. I've not kept up with it because I basically quit League of Legends. But, I am going to make this video so that you guys are actually able to still use the method that I had used in the previous video. It does still indeed work. However, there are some things different now. So, if I go over here and open up League of Legends... And then I go over here to play, and I create a custom game. I'm going to show you some of the changes. Now, I already uh, disabled all of the settings that we uh, had set in the previous video, so that I can show you what this looks like, or what the changes look like from stock. Apparently they have a new loading screen, that's pretty cool. Okay, so, as you can see, the chat is visible again here. I press enter, and as you can see, there's a chat here. I just type something in it. If I go to interface in the menu here, um, I'm pressing escape. You guys should know that by now, though. Um, under chat, they have this new feature right here. Uh, there's a, actually a toggle button for show allied chat. If you uncheck this even in a regular game, and I try to type, it'll say chat is currently disabled. To enable chat, go to interface options, interface page in the options menu. Now, as far as memory serves, that was a feature, but it was only available in um, player versus bots. It was not available in regular queues. Now, it is a feature. So chat is currently disabled, and I would assume that if I had other players in here, I would not be able to see their stuff either. But I bet you I can still see ping. Nope, I still can't see pings either. Well, maybe. Hold on. Let me actually ping something that... Yeah, okay, I can see pings. Ping something that actually matters. Um, so that will allow you to continue using pings properly, which is a good thing. Uh, that was one of the downsides to the other method that I showed earlier was that you could no longer see pings in chat. So if I can, if I target this, you'll actually see the plating um, number and that I've targeted it. But there is unfortunately a downside to this. If you uh, if you were like me back when I used to play, and um, well, you, things would get heated. It's very easy for you to just hit escape, go in here and just check this button, and then and then type whatever toxic crap you want to say in chat, and you know potentially get yourself banned. With my previous method, that was not something that you could do. Now, if I can exit out of the game here, I can show you that my previous method still works. So, I'll go into here. I do not have this. Um, I did not have this running right now, but I will go ahead and run it. Go into League of Legends. Get back into a game here. And then, as you can see, I press enter, and nothing happens. The chat does not come up. All right, so that still works. And then I go into Riot Games, League of Legends, Config, and get out of my way. Game, Config, edit that with Notepad. I don't want to reload it. I already had them opened. I go down here to Chat. And then I can change that back to the values that we had set in the previous video. And do the same in persisted settings. Save that. Map settings should still be the same. 
yeah, 1.5. And then get back in here and create custom. And then, now that we're back in here, I uh, will double up my Q. I'll press enter and then Q. And it still thinks, ooh, nice sound effect. It still thinks that I am in game because it did not open the chat at all. I can do the same with enter and then D. And as you can see, I flashed, which it would not be able to do if the chat was actually activated. So the old method does still work. There are, there is a difference. Um, in this old method versus Riot's method. The Riot's method is built right into the game. You, all you have to do is go in here and check this, or uncheck this box. It's enabled by default, as far as I know. Everybody has access to that option in game. You don't need to go to a video like mine to figure out how to delete chat. And it can be re-enabled in-game if you, for whatever reason, you have friends and you're playing a custom game or something, and you need to use chat, you could just re-enable this and you'll have access to chat again. However, if you are somebody who's easily tempted to say something you'll probably regret in chat, it's very easy for you to be tempted to just go in here and re-enable that and then type whatever you want to say and then disable it again or just leave it open again, leaving you open to vulnerability. I mean, it's great that they allowed us to actually disable chat in game, but they didn't allow us to completely get rid of it, like my video allows you to. Now, the old method, you don't have to deal with that. It's out of sight, out of mind, basically doesn't exist. It's gone from the game completely. And then you're not tempted to actually open it back up, enable it again, and start saying stuff to other people on your team. However, you cannot re-enable it while you're in-game if you need it for whatever reason. And you have to make sure it's re-enabled before another game launches if you need it for like a custom game or something like that. That's pretty much it, guys. Just a little update to the previous video. Just to show you guys it does still work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys um, are actually able to implement the guide previously if you do actually want to use that. And I hope you guys have a nice day.